When I was in fifth grade and early middle school, I played baseball in Kellerpin, which is a league for anyone who's interested in baseball between the ages of 4 and 12. I learned a lot in this time, met a lot of people I never would have met otherwise. The coach was always very cool and chill people, and they were always there to try and help us improve in whatever it was we wanted to do. The teams usually consisted of about 10 or 11 people, and the skill levels usually varied a lot. They were designed to make sure that no team was very unfair against any others. People on them had very different amounts of experience, from years of playing to just entering the game. I was never very good at it, but I had fun with it for a while, so I played it for three years until I decided baseball wasn't my thing. However, I didn't leave it without learning anything. I knew about teamwork and sports in general. I enjoyed my time working with others and uh, trying to achieve a goal and being persistent enough to stick with it even when I didn't think it was very good. I mean, high school was a big adjustment, but at the same time, it wasn't a hard one. People make it sound like high school is a big challenge, but I realized after not very long, the classes were very similar and the schedule did not change very much, except for the fact that there was no longer a ninth period, and all the clues the classes are five minutes longer. Honestly, not that much. The classes are not very much harder than they were in middle school, and there really wasn't much aside from homework, which I never seemed to be able to get caught up on. I started out being in between liking and hating it like most of my classmates, but I found most of the stuff I did in class very easy. The homework was the only thing that killed school for me, because it was hard to stay motivated at home when there was so much stuff that being done at home besides homework. Some classes were better than others, and it usually was determined by what kind of teacher you got. The teachers that had a decent sense of humor were the ones that you were set with for the whole year, and they were usually a good thing. I had a good many teachers who were always cool, and I could hang out with them because outside of class, because they were just fun to talk to. There were always a couple who just wanted to get away from as soon as the bell rings for sweet, sweet freedom. However, most of the teachers that I had were the kind of people maybe made me want to stay after class just to have a conversation because they were enjoyable. One such teacher would have been the teacher I had for econ in my senior year, Mr. Carver. His way of teaching was one that I liked, and I had an easy time with keeping up and doing decently in the class. His personality made it fun to be in the room with him, because he was always teaching someone who he knew would just find it funny. It is the class where I actually learned, started to learn anything about how money works in the real world, such as how credit cards work, or how they just completely screw people over, as opposed to just making people shop easier. Obviously, it was just the material that he had to teach, but he taught it in a way that was easy to understand and easy to connect with a lot of the time. I have decided in the future, I'd be trying to get into the Marines. It is a goal that I have contemplated, but reinforced itself this year as a result of how close the time is approaching, choose where to take my life. I am fairly sure I'd go insane working in any normal working environment, for longer than a year, another year of school just seems like it'd be a terrible idea. Because I have enough trouble as it is, I couldn't imagine wasting thousands of dollars just to go fail out of some college just because it's one normal thing to do. As the end of the year approached, I decided that going into something like the Marines would be the best course of action. And it's not just a last ditch effort on my part. There's so many benefits of going in that I haven't been able to find any reason why I wouldn't want to go. My dad wasn't a huge influence, but he helped by answering my questions when I had any. He was in the Marines when he was my age, he was actually much younger. I figured he could answer the questions, but I forgot to ask the recruiter. The recruiter was obviously helpful, as well as by telling me everything I would need to know to go through to become a Marine.